The Lone Star State, where the bulls are the only thing bigger than the skyline. A state that some consider the birthplace of today's modern-day whitetail management practices. Paul Sawyer is down on the ranch in search of a southern giant. He's boxed into the blind with high expectations. We're in the panhandle of Texas. We're hunting again with my longtime friend Steve Reviance. Steve is a real estate agent for Whitetail Properties in Oklahoma. Steve pulled a card this morning, and one of the bucks on top of the hit list named Jay Hook was here at 5.30 this morning. So with any luck, he'll show up here again tonight, and we'll get it, uh, we'll get it done on the first go around. Down here, the deer don't have the fields to themselves. Coyotes run rampant through the region, preying on vulnerable fawns and other valued game. It's a cutthroat world in the wild. The Texan deer herds have grown accustomed to the coyote's presence, but accustomed is a long way from comfortable. Keen senses call for deer to check their sixes often. The tall grass doesn't stretch long enough to conceal the biggest Texas tines. The coyotes prowl, bobbing, weaving, waiting for one deer to come one step too close. A new buck is making his way toward Paul. He's several hundred yards out, and at this point, he's nameless. He's not Jay Hook. He's not Stickers. And by this discerning hunter's standards, he doesn't make the cut. So he's not going to be greeted by Deer Season XP tonight. He's young and yet to earn a spot on Paul's roster. These are the tough decisions that need to be made in order to reap the biggest rewards. The predator has returned, determined to make his presence known inside this prairie, but he's out of bounds. The dog won't be getting the treat tonight. Winchester Life is brought to you by Winchester Repeating Arms Swarovski Optic Winchester Ammunition Here at Swarovski Optic, a lot of time is spent on perfecting a few great things until every idea we touch enhances every moment in the field. For a quarter century, the Swarovski Optic SLC has been making hunter's dreams become reality. Feel the wilderness every time you step outside.
XBR Bolt Action Rifle from Winchester Repeating Arms. Experience performance. There's a bump. There's a bump. It's a good bump. Yeah, no question. That's a shooter. We're gonna shoot him. I think. It, I can't tell if that's. I think that might be that sticker bump. He's got a. I'm looking. He's got a really tall brow on the left side. As darkness begins to fill the big sky, a big buck fills the frame. He's a shooter, and he's earned himself a name. Last night, yesterday afternoon, we killed a big nine in Oklahoma. We haven't even been here for, man, I can't believe, we haven't even been here for three hours. And we just killed, that is a big Northern Texas eight. That's a buck they call J-Hook. And that deer is six and a half or seven and a half years old. He's got a J-Hook on, on his left side, a sticker. He's got split brows, man, that buck. That buck had me tore up. That is a great buck. Boom! Belly right there. And he didn't go, he didn't go 20 yards. I don't even know how far, how he got that far. Look at that. That old deer sees him put a wall by and he's already stiff. <sighs> This is a buck that they call J-Hook. Look at that Roman nose, big old body Texas deer. This is a five and a half year old buck. They know him real well. They call him J-Hook for this little kicker he's got right here. He's a main frame eight. But he's got this extra brow tine. That little kicker off the side. Got a little something coming off his bases here. He's got decent mass. He's got a good three there, weak three, but he makes it up here with the double brow tines. Got a little sticker coming off here. Man, he looks so good coming in. And you know what the craziest thing is, is we just got here. I mean, we probably haven't even been here in Texas for four hours. Killed a great buck last night, yesterday afternoon in Oklahoma, and jumped across the border here to Texas. Just crazy. There's a really good chance I'll never have a rifle season like this again in my life. I've hunted a combined total of seven days and killed three five-year-old bucks. It's happened, but it still hasn't sunk in. And the one common thread was the performance of the deer season XP. Every buck that I shot with them didn't go 20 yards. And to uh, be able to count on that kind of performance, that is priceless. And this is Winchester life. Now I'm on the run, got my life, got my gun, got my picture in the paper. A true predator never takes his eyes off the prize. He stays focused at all times, vigilant in his pursuit. He makes the tough decisions, when to prowl, when to pounce, when to eat. Paul Sawyer put his whitetail expertise through the paces this season, with three mature deer to show for it. He stuck to his guns. He refused to settle for anything but the best, in the company he kept, in the ammunition he loaded in the deer he chose. In all the ways, he lived the Winchester life. Yeah.